FEMA IS NOW ON ITS WAY TO OHIO WHERE THERE ARE LINGERING HEALTH CONCERNS IN THE AFTERMATH OF A TRAIN DERAILMENT THAT SPILLED AND BURNED OFF TOXIC CHEMICALS. CBS 2'S CHRISTIAN BENAVIDES REPORTS. Residents of East Palestine, Ohio, picked up bottled water and soda from this local food bank. After the Norfolk Southern train derailment earlier this month, locals are finding apparent signs of toxic chemical spill throughout town, including in this creek. I mean, it just, the whole creek just became that rainbow oil film. And uh, I'm like, oh my, this is a lot worse than what. You know, they're telling us. This week, the Ohio EPA said tests show five wells supplying the village's drinking water are free from contaminants. Testing those five wells that go into the community system, uh, those five wells have all come back. Clean. After the derailment, authorities conducted a controlled release of toxic vinyl chloride chemicals from five of the derailed cars to avoid an explosion. That measure sent flames and a plume of black smoke into the air again. Officials say precautions are being taken to ensure contaminants that reach the Ohio River don't make it into drinking water. What are the levels of contaminants and are those levels safe? And I don't think that we're confident yet enough to say that we have answers to either of those questions. People in the community have complained of lingering headaches, scratchy throats, and burning eyes since the incident just over two weeks ago. I'm here to support the community, and um, if you'll excuse me, that's where I'm headed right now to meet with some community members. Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw is in East Palestine this weekend and spoke to reporters Saturday. Cristian Benavides, CBS News.